Hello, I am Jayantu Chatterjee and we are discussing new products, new service management. In the last few sessions, we have looked at the new product, new service management strategies in large organizations and we have looked at new product, new service management in startups and the concept of lean startup. Today, I am going to put together in a short session presenting to you this business model canvas. Part of it that is this value proposition and customer segment, this relationship I have discussed in detail in an earlier session. At that time itself I had presented to you this con canvas, but I want to go into uh, detail of this in today's session because you have to now put the perspective in terms of the entire business to clearly understand that this value proposition development in response to customers needs and pains and gains does not stand in isolation because after this activity, after you know whether you have come, come through the stage gate or you have uh, come through the a lean startup method and the pivoting etcetera. Once you have something to offer to the market, you are in the commercialization stage, you have to think of these issues like channels to the market, right. What and uh, you can see this side, if you kind of draw like this, so the value proposition is in the center this is actually the customer facing side and this is the internal operation facing side right so you have to now think in terms of that what activities i need to perform inside the organization to make this new product happen what resources key resources i need what key partners i must have whether as an outsourcing partner or as a supply chain partner or as a uh, co-developer, what kind of and then what will be my cost structure, right. These are all internal operations oriented considerations that you must have, must go through to make the new product happen successfully. On the other side, you need to look at therefore, that what customer segments you are offering, how, what channels will take you to that segments, right what kind of revenue streams you are therefore, uh, uh, planning for period 1, period 2, period 3, you know how your market is going to uh, grow and that also will need your understanding of product life cycle etcetera. But this business model canvas as, as you can see here, this is 1, this is 1, this is the beginning of the journey. Next is 2, this is the revenue stream, right. Then are all these, so this is 1 and 1 beginning, then this is 2, the revenue stream, then this is 3, that how, what channel you are going to follow and construct and use and what customer relationship strategies you are going to follow. Remember that those four questions that I placed to you right in the beginning, that any new product you have to always answer those four fundamental questions, that why will anybody buy this product, that is the value proposition. Why will they buy from us, that question you are going to answer uh, by again the matching of the value proposition with the customer segment. Who are those buyers? that is the customer segment. Why will anybody buy this product? That is the value proposition. Who are my likely buyers? That is my customer segment identification and why will they buy from us? That will depend on my customer relationship strategy, that will depend on my channel strategy. Why will they continue to buy from us? That is those answers will come from your operational excellence your operational preparedness. So, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 
and then is 4, these are the your partners, you know what kind of inputs you will create to make that uh, business uh, successful, your supply chain partners, your um, developers, your uh, designers from outside if you are bringing them in, subsystem developers if you are going to use them and so on. And then key activities and key resources and lastly all that will lead to certain kind of cost structure which must be related to this revenue structure. Okay. This is what we call business model because this on one canvas tells you that what is the business, what is its core value proposition, who are the major buyers, how are they being reached and what is happening inside the organization to make that value proposition happen, who are the partners uh, in uh, that process, what kind of resources are being deployed, what activities need to be done and finally, what kind of cost structure we have, so that we are again offering a certain cost benefit ratio, this cost relating to this revenue. So, as you know a model shows input output, here actually it shows how uh, the flow of uh, activities will lead to flow of money ultimately into your business for commercial success. So, there is uh, if you just uh, uh, search for business model canvas, uh, then you will uh, find a website and lots of again uh, very helpful charts which will be free for downloading and also a lot of PowerPoint presentations, videos, YouTube uh, presentations are available for you to understand. So, uh, Oster Walder uh, and others who wrote that particular book, they have written two very useful books in the context of new product development. One is the uh, book called uh, Strategic Value Proposition and the other is called this uh, Business Model Canvas both use this single page format to understand. See it is here actually this www.businessmodelgeneration.com that is the website and if you go to that website it will also take you to the website of strategic value proposition canvas and there are many other very interesting small small uh, charts and tools that you can very gainfully used in uh, running that. Uh, process that we discussed in the earlier session, which uh, was regarding the lean startup. Okay. So, that kind of completes our journey uh, of new product development in large organizations, in small organizations and putting it all together as a plan, as a plan of action, as a plan for implementation. Thank you.